another reading as you can see from the title how do they see you remember to like and subscribe to my channel leave a comment if you want to if you want a personal reading you can email me my email is down in the description if you want to be a member of my channel click the link down in the description so that join my channel if you want to know what i post for members you can check my channel page there's a lot of podcasts and there's two playlists for members the daily book card readings and the members only videos the daily book card readings they all titled daily book card readings but when you click on each daily you're gonna find in the description what pick a card i've done that day i go for members uh every day i go live for members and uh, they request readings and we do a lot of readings and the members only videos there's uh, similar readings like this the pick a card and uh normal pick a card and there's the multiple vials pick a card 10 or 8 vials and there is the detailed reading which is a topic and there's a lot of pick a card related to that topic there's also a prediction of something like speaking a prediction of the world or something like that so check that and uh, when I go daily for members, we usually uh, they usually request readings or also if they don't request reading, I think of like what is the common energy that they need, a big card that they need. So uh, yeah, it's really fun so you can join us there and some of the extended reading as well are for members. So how do they see you choose a one? If you want a more personal reading for you on like your person and more like on your energy only, you can check my prices down in the description. Let me drink my coffee. Number one, how do they see you? Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. You can send me a thank you, the heart shape with a dollar under the video if you like this reading. So how do they see you? I do feel like this person sees you as someone who can, they can take advantage of. So this person want to hide you. They want to take advantage of you. They feel like you're, you're someone who they can manipulate or play easily, whether they're wrong or not. This is how they see you. They see someone as someone who they can manipulate, they can harass, and they can keep in the dark. They can control. They can do whatever you, they want with you. But this is how they see you, but you're not going to say a word a word something about a world i don't feel like this person could be racist right they could be racist here something about this person they're very racist they could really could really be stereotyping you or they want to humiliate you based on a based on something whether it's gender they could be sexist or color or something like that this person sees you as a game that they want to play they kind of like just have a lot of anger toward your race or your type of people if it's not a race they kind of like stereotype you on a type based on your physical appearance and they kind of want to treat you based on it like they want to project basically it's fair to say they see you as someone who they can project on right they want to project unleash all their emotional struggles on you and they feel like it's fair to do that this is when they see you they see you and they see that they see they see you and they see their vein they see you and they see something that they can project on i don't feel like this person sees you as someone who got really they could be really jealous of your skin or they hate your skin you could have flawless skin or the opposite but something about your skin is really irritating them so it's fair to say this person is very unhealthy when they see you they see a lot of their anger on you how do you feel like this person could feel rejected from your type of people or something like that and they want to project or they're just very like they're projecting an idea uh, they believed a narrative, they projected an idea on you, on all of that. They, like, they want to use you to feel good about themselves. They feel like, for some of you, this could be something very dumb, like, where, like, they have a phobia from people like you, yeah? It's like, they blame you for things that happen in the world or something. And they want to harass you. They feel like they need hara to harass you because it's your fault. They could just want to see you. They see racism. and they see something. So thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Let me know in the comments what's going on here. Number two, how do they see you? This person 
a certain point they were seeing you as an equal like as a friend an equal friend or an equal person they were relating to you a lot but now they feel like they are better than you or they see you as someone who's like stabbed them in the back and they're better than you they feel like you could be a jealous hoe it's like there's something where like they thought something positive of you and then it turned out to be negative um this person sees you right now as someone who's like it was like you're trying to copy them but you're an ignorant coward or you're trying to copy someone and you it sounds like you make yourself look like a fool like it's almost like you're trying to be smart or you're trying to be something by copying them or copying someone and it seems like you're just like a copycat like you're just like a parrot like you just repeat whatever someone says like well, you're not actually smart you pretend to be smart but you're not because you're acting like you're you're basically stole someone personality but it's not really you and they feel like you're a coward this person really does not respect you anymore they at one point they respected you and they had similar dreams with you but i do feel like this person sees you as someone who's like a toxic codependent a monster or something like that they do see you right now and when they look at you they see toxic things and energy could be reversed right i do feel like this person is very very self-aware and they feel like they need to go away with their ideas they feel like you're a thief and they knew at a certain point you stole something from them they're like they don't mind you stealing their ideas stealing something and they like go with it they feel like you're just like a child or a pathetic person or an idiot i do feel like this person is weird say like they don't see you anymore but at a certain point something was here and they thought it's beautiful but then they don't see you this way anymore thank you for watching number two number three how do they see you um this person sees you as someone who is uh very very wild like you're a wild child you maybe you're younger than them or you're very youthful or you have a childlike energy but they do see that they see you free spirited and they see you as a wild child i do feel like this person feels like they want to defend you they know a lot of people would want to change you would want to like tame you or something like that they want to control you they want to say like hey stop this child from behaving this way or stop this person they want to act like they know better than you because they're more experienced more older they want to control you they want to like they want to break you or they don't want you to behave this way but this person want to protect you with every power that they have to uh keep that energy flowing because they see something in you that they respect i do feel like this person really would, would like this person's kind of like see you and they feel like they want to give everything to you like they want to protect you with everything that they have they feel like they are ready to protect you with their souls or there's a deeper thing that they feel like they want to protect you with everything that they have they feel like they're ready to protect you like you are their own child whether you are same age or not this person's very protective like that so they see you as someone who you smell so good but like um you staying around people who smell bad or something maybe maybe this is a work colleague or something they feel like every time they go around there's like a bad smell around you and you feel like uh, you're sitting around trashy people or something like that i don't feel like this person sees you as a flower ready to bloom or they are like very like they know that you're going to bloom soon like you're going to mature to a beautiful person um whether it's like you're in an age of like you're blooming like you're older whatever they just feel like you there's something gonna come and something about you just going to bloom i do feel like this person sees you as someone who's like maybe struggling and you're stressed out and they want to tell you they know that you're stressed out they want to tell you like do not let it stress you those things are nothing like they see you stressing about things that maybe they know that it's hard on you but they want to tell you they want to show you that those things or nothing maybe like do not stress about them maybe like you're younger or you're not mature in something they'll be telling you like they want to show you their experience and be telling you like um i know how it feels but you know those things are not worth it i want you to learn from my mistakes or like giving it a bigger deal than it deserved i don't feel like this person feels like you're kind of hating men or hating women or you don't want to get married or you don't want to be in a commit 
commitment, something like that. I don't know, this person thinks that you're funny. They could be hiding, like they could be wearing shades and hiding to watch you. Like sometimes they act like they're not hearing you, they're you're dropping or something. They think it's you're, you're funny, but they don't really they don't really show it but they think you say funny things and you know they're like they hear you sometimes they're like interesting like interesting or something that they hear that you're saying and they they don't want to laugh because maybe they're trying to act professional trying to act like they don't want to laugh in general but they think it's funny whatever you're saying it could be cute as well you know like hearing a child say something thank you for watching have a lovely day number four how do they see you number four okay this person sees you as someone who's mysterious like you're hiding a lot of secrets oh they feel like it's hard for them to read you like nobody can read you like nobody knows what you've been through you have a lot of secrets and you're like a loner that you don't want people to know or you don't want to share like you, always, you have your own life and you don't share, you don't talk much and you can, even if they ask you about something, you answer, like you avoid questions and you answer, you avoid answering and you answer in a short way. They see you as someone who is emotionally not mature, so they could feel like you're maybe emotionally not mature. They could be judging you a little bit and um, they feel like, uh, because they don't know much. I see the thing here, like this person want to know more. They don't know more about your life, what you're going through. And they think like you're, they are judging you in a way. They think like you're emotionally not mature. You handle things in a way that's not good and you need to be controlled or you need to be disciplined or um, they need to tell you that this is wrong. Someone needs to punish you somehow. They see you as someone who you, you need to be punished. Like you need to be punished and you need to be like yelled at. You need to be taught a lesson. Oh, something like that or so weird but you need to be taught a lesson they need to be yelled at so you don't behave this way anymore or you don't act this way you're emotionally all over the place or they don't like the way that you handle things like emotionally like why are you talking this way they might not like the way that you talk to others and how you talk and you know you're like uh, um, argue and they want to like basically teach you a lesson here or like cut you off or teach you a lesson there's something here about it um, this person sees you as someone who definitely different than this person background. This person could be old fashioned in some way. They don't really understand something that you're doing. This person sees you as someone who's like, you're ready to fight. Like they feel like if they're gonna do something, you're ready to fight and slap them. Or you're ready to argue with them. Like they feel like if they're gonna be talking to you about something, you're ready to fight with them. And they wanna have an argument with you, but they don't feel like they're ready because they know that you're going to slap them. You're going to be aggressive, but they want to have an argument with you and they want to teach you a lesson, but they feel like you're just going to hurt them. And maybe you did, or maybe they did try something and then you slap them on the face and they kind of were like, what the fuck just happened? They know that you're ready for it. Like you're not going to accept shit for someone to try to, you know, tell you shit like that or to interfere in your decisions. maybe it did i don't feel like this person sees you as someone who's like you're very beautiful you're very amazing but they feel like they feel like you're making yourself look ugly they feel like you're happy you're believed or whatever it makes you look ugly and not acceptable by other people and i do feel like this person is a hypocrite in a way because i'm seeing like a hypocrisy here i don't know if it's a world word but this person is like seeing you this way but they know it's not true because they see everybody liking you it's almost like this person is very control freak and they're kind of stuck to their beliefs and ideas and whenever they see you they they see that it's not true they see people talking to you and loving you and really being around you no matter what you are like what you're doing and they kind of like just don't want to admit it they don't want to admit that they're wrong thank you for watching how do they see you, number five? Uh, this person sees you as someone who maybe sometimes you misunderstand things like like it's not bad but sometimes you misunderstand things or like you 
you see something and you think it's something and they don't like you misunderstand something when you see it like you sometimes misunderstand things and what they say they feel sometimes they're like they're, what what did you say like they feel like you're they're not on the same page and they don't know if they should correct you or not but you misunderstand some things and they're like okay whatever like they don't want to correct it um this person sees you as someone who's like very beautiful very attractive and they love something that you have at your work maybe you work in a place that's really really beautiful you have beautiful things at your work or something like that uh they feel like you have clean teeth or clean lips or something about you it's just very clean hygienically clean i don't feel like this person sees you as someone who is um it's like this person sometimes is just confused on like should they talk to you or should they not talk to you they don't know because sometimes it seems like you you misunderstand things and they don't know if you're gonna accept things that they're gonna say or you're gonna be judging them like they don't know if you're open-minded and you, they don't know because sometimes you say things and you you for example you're talking about your life right and you say things like you say things like oh you like that you like that and you seem like very you like your beliefs so much and then they feel like maybe you're gonna judge them if they if you knew that there's something else or something like that or they feel like you know they don't know if you're gonna be open minded about it or not they don't know more about you they'll say this person sees you as someone who's um who's like going through a lot of things changes in your life that you're building something in your life you are working hard to build something i don't feel like this person sees you as someone maybe who's like you've been hurt before or something that happened to you in your life but they feel like you're very empathic you're very caring you care about others you care about uh helping others you care about little things and you care about like tiny details of other people happiness and you're that person who's going to remember someone's favorite thing and all of that i don't feel like this person sees you as someone who aims a lot like on future and boy they're kind of confused on like what are your plans are or are you going to work on them you're very secretive about your plans or something here in your future this person sees you as someone who is like you're very safe to be around you're a trustworthy person basically you are a good person you're a trustworthy person you're not going to hurt anybody you're not that you're very you're very loyal you're very faithful you're a good person you're a good human in general you believe in you know like in good karma and all of that like you're a person who's like very peaceful and trustworthy they know that you're not gonna steal from them do something to hurt them so thank you for watching number five number six how do they see you they mm -hmm. um they see you as someone who is you got a lot of things that they want you got a lot of things stuff basically you could have things that they see like uh like clothes and things and stuff sometimes they're like whoa where did you buy this they kind of want it they see things that you have and they kind of want those things um they see you as someone who been through a lot of experiences like you're very experienced or this person could maybe know your cv and they're like wow you've been through a lot or you have a lot of things something about wisdom and work and financial wisdom or something like that that they see or you know a lot on like how to make money or something here about like the work field in general here that they, they see is something stable so this person sees you as someone who does not repeat things or you don't talk much or like sometimes you talk and sometimes like you're just severe like it could be moody and sometimes they feel like sometimes you talk and sometimes like you're just gone and it's like they don't know if they should talk to you they feel like they want to be more with you they want to be like besties or they want to talk to you more but they don't know if you're like they they don't know how to do it they could be very intimidated or very insecure for some of you or for others of you they just don't know like they're shy or like should i talk or am i being annoying should i say something right um You're someone who gets along with everybody like you get along with everybody regardless of their age um you know their group their status like 
you're the kind of person who like you're gonna sit and have a best of friend who's like 20 years older than you and someone who's young like you get you respect everybody you get along with everybody and you have a, a lot of age groups friends and uh, you know people and status and you get along with different groups of people which is very interesting to this person because this person could be not like that like you get along with everybody and sometimes like even different backgrounds like you you know how to like there it's not like you don't know how to talk to them like you have different perspective you can talk to everybody you, like you connect with everybody and something about it is very amazing to this person i don't feel like this person sees you as someone who's like um, someone tried to kill you, to end you, someone tried to basically uh, make you die and your dream died. And maybe like it did, but it's like it also made them realize that whatever they killed is not really important to you. Like you're, you're something different. They thought they can hurt you this way, but they didn't because that's not important or something like that here. This person sees you as someone who's like very intellectual. You talk a lot. They're really gonna have sexual feelings toward you. Are they thinking about sex? Are they thinking about who you're fucking? Or they could think that you have a really a beautiful body if they're not attracted to you sexually or something like that, right? Um, Thank you for watching. I feel like that's it. Have a lovely day, my lovely people. Bye.